as we always say, the solution to every problem is within the problem. Here in Africa, we have an energy issues, and with this, we have on ground. We believe we have the answer to the energy problem in our continent. So let's show you how this pulse model we are trying to make a self-sustained system. Here is the main batteries that will supply the energy. This one is the second battery that will receive the reactive energy so that as the ions are making their way through this circuit, through their return, the return part, this battery will be charged from the energy release from this battery pack. And Pulse motor systems work using the principle of electromagnetic repulsion. So, as the magnet approaches this electromagnet, there is a switch that is being triggered by magnets, the presence of magnets. So, it continues pushes the the the, the reaction of that. Make sure that this flywheel is always in motion and the energy that is used to power this flywheel motor is also received from this second battery bank and also we have another output which is this coil you are seeing on top the, the electromagnet this also receives the reactive energy from the interaction between the permanent magnet and the electromagnet. So let's see the current consumed by this system. For example, this uh, we call it restwitch, and this is the trigger switches. They are MOSFET. No. So the motor is moving. Then let's see the starting current. Three point so so we have this motor consuming two point four and power uh, and that same energy you are seeing is being received by these second batteries if you have ever read about um, Tesla switch then you will to understand the principle behind this but for now I want to concentrate on the pulse motor as you can see the coils doing their work the, the LED bulbs is on we still have another energy received by these batteries so by the time you put together all this energy you see that we have a free energy system coupled with the massive weight of this flywheel when everything is completed there will be an alternator on top this flywheel so that it generates energy just like your wind turbine does so in all this we believe as you can see the, the thing is increasing because of the adjustment and the timing so everything is working perfectly we have about seven
show you the voltage test on this same system. From here, this is the voltage of the second battery bank that is receiving the charge from this setup. As you can see, it has dropped to 3, 13.2. When we place the timing switch, it jumps to 13.3. Five. So you can see whenever this is okay, okay, is there the this switch is there and the system is working. So you can see that this second battery is charging through the little energy that is powering this circuit. And also, okay, 13.4, showing you that the system is charging the second battery. Then, let's now check the second output. That's the output of the pulse motor system. This is the battery receiving the, collecting the energy from the pulse motor system. You see it. So charging 13.4, Any adjustment in the this switch will also affect the output performance of this whole setup. And all we know is is returning all the energy that is used in this process. You don't lose any. This same system harnesses the energy from the environment because all we are using here is the magnetic flux pushing this massive flywheel. As you can see, it's charging the second battery. 13, okay, 14.39. Now it's the state of charge. When you remove this, there's a drop showing you that you can still pulse this system to generate energy from the flywheel. And also mind you that this guy here is also receiving the energy from this system. So we believe when all these things are completed, we have a total and complete free energy system. As we said, our principle and our goal is to make sure we have free energy for everyone. Thank you and God bless.